All right, so we have Hocus Pocus 2. You guys, it has been almost 30 years since the first Hocus Pocus came out. And if you're like me, I am a true Hocus Pocus fan. Like it is a near and dear, like to my heart movie. Watch it every Halloween, like I imagine most people do. We all have our Halloween favorites and Hocus Pocus is amongst that list. So I, like many other people, I think went into this, hopefully like, I'm gonna speak for myself, but I just imagine a lot of other people were doing the same, which is that you didn't go in with a high list of expectations. For me, I just was excited to see these characters again, see what they were gonna do, because I know that even if I didn't like the movie, I'd be excited to see these three women back together again, just having a blast. That's all I really wanted, because I don't expect this movie to, you know, trump the first one. Yeah, the effects might look better because we're in 2022, but I just, I was excited more just based on that nostalgia. I think we as people just, we really live for that nostalgia. And that can be great, but also what I've learned is that a lot of movies that try to do a sequel many years later just don't really live up to, you know, its predecessor. I think what made it so special is because it was ahead of its time or it was or it was just for that time. Like, that's what made it unique at, the, at that moment. So seeing this movie many years later as these uh, Sanderson sisters continue, you know, to wreak havoc upon Salem... It was fun to watch these girls uh, do it again, don't get me wrong, but I felt like this one kind of lacked a certain spirit. I don't know. This is just my personal opinion, but I felt like Hocus Pocus 2 just did not give me anything, really. Again, for the exception of seeing these three tremendous actresses do their thing, I didn't really feel like the movie was that memorable. I don't think it's going to leave a long-lasting impression. It's not casting a long spell, so to speak. <laughs> I just, I thought the humor was a little bit forced. I thought it was a little too redundant, very derivative. We've seen it. It's just not really that humorous anymore. Again, this is my own personal takeaway from it. Um, and we had another fun musical number, but it just felt like the movie was almost trying to repeat the exact same thing with a newer generation. And while that might be interesting at times, I just felt like it was a missed opportunity unfortunately. Hocus Pocus 2, I thought, could have had a lot more to offer, given the fact that we've had this long of a wait. And they're talking even already maybe doing a third one, and I'm like, it's not really warranted or needed. If they do it, of course, as a fan, I'm going to watch. But do we need it? Not really. Um, that being said, if you are a true Hocus Pocus fan, if you just need it to watch just to get that nostalgic fix and something for the Halloween season, then fine. Otherwise, you're not really missing a whole lot, as I don't think the sequel is going to go down as a memorable one.